Well, I think a lot there for our leaders to uh, digest. Uh, Wackademia, James, uh, there's a colourful character called Kathy Hoffman. Tell us about her. Yeah, Kathy Hoffman, she is the Democratic Superintendent of Public uh, Education at, in Arizona. She, um, and we talked with uh, Andrew Dill before about, you know, the sinister side of indoctrinating kids. Well, she is such an indoctrinator that she hates, she says she hates the Bible so much that she swore her oath of office to be the superintendent of education uh, in a, on a Dr. Seuss book, book, and she is also pushing sex education on kindergartners that includes teaching yeah. them a lot of things that I don't want to talk about on a Sunday morning. Quite right. Uh, Rita, the uh, satire writes itself often. Um, tell us about this racist song. We've now got a racist song from Texas. Oh, yes, this is the University of Texas, and they've got uh, their band members and sporting teams in an uproar because they say the eye of Texas, eyes of Texas, is racist. It's got some sort of racial overtones, and it's all very confusing to understand precisely what they find racist, but they want the song changed, and given the times we're in, I wouldn't be surprised if it is. And an example, James, of genuine racism rather than the faux racism of the left. This is genuine racism also brought to us by the left. Of course it is. And, you know, we have seen uh, the old settlement that we should all be colorblind, just being washed away by the tides of wokeness. Well, at New York University, very prestigious university that costs 50 or 60 grand a year to go to, a student-led task force is now demanding that the administration provide black student-only Housing. So, you know, we've gone from the old days where it was uh, the yeah, left saying yes. segregation forever. Now it's the left who's saying segregation forever. So there you have it. Well, Rita, this one amused me that uh, students at Binghamton, Binghamton University, Binghamton. Binghamton University, they're calling on the school to reinstate its safe ride program. This is because girls feel threatened at night. And the reason they feel threatened at night is because they defunded the police. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Lefty lunacy, wackademia at their best.